as Dennis Smith Jr. looks to become the fifth NBA Slam Dunk champion as a member of the New York Knicks, let's take a trip down memory lane at some of the best and worst moments of the NBA Slam Dunk Contest by a New York Knicks. Among the uh, new entrants, Kenny Walker could certainly uh, put on a display today. And, and First up, Kenny Sky Walker. He wasn't even supposed to appear in the 1989 dunk contest in Houston, but when Kenny Walker was asked to be a last minute replacement, he agreed and dominated. Kenny was competing in the memory of his father, who had just passed away a few days earlier. Walker needs a 48.1 for first place. Oh, brother. But he has had the highest scores tonight, and it's the power and the drama. Look at the pirouette and then pop and throw. And almost 49.5 for Skywalker. Well, that is a beauty. Look at the pirouette. The arm is out. He's cocked back. I mean, that is a spectacular dunk. Oh, my. It's going to be hard to beat Kenny Walker. This is the whirling dervish move with the legs flying, the arms going. Another look at it coming in. Watch the plant. There's the cup. Look at how he's just flying. Everything's going way out. The little spin, the pirouette, the legs up in the air. Now the big windmill throw through with power, and the legs still flying as Patrick Ewing gives him the big cheer for a great dunk on the part of Kenny Walker. Nine slam dunk championship. Oh, yes. Walker would end up winning the slam dunk contest in a rout, completing three near-perfect dunks in the final round. Walker upset the expected winner, Clyde Drexler, who was performing in front of his home court of Houston. Kenny Walker with a 148.1 wins the championship to join the likes of Nance, Wilkins, Webb, and Jordan. And now let's go to center court and Singer. In the league's top six man this season, and he's played a key role in the New York Knicks drive to the top of the Atlantic Division. John Starks. Next up, John Starks. Before he created the legend we all know as the Dunk, Starks entered the 1992 All Star Game Dunk Contest against future teammate Larry Johnson and the infamous Sean Kent. Does Hubie, you like John Stark, the six-five guard from the Knicks? This, but he'll get another opportunity to five. The baseline reverse jam from John Starks. He had to go with something uh, relatively conservative because he certainly didn't want to have that miss. While Starks had a couple nice dunks in the contest, he couldn't quite capture the essence like he would on his infamous drive a year later. Starks is more of an in-game dunker and didn't really have the creativity that it took to win the contest. Oh, yeah. John Starks oh, yeah. off the bounce, oh, yeah. the reverse jam. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful because he got up high and he threw it down hard. Yeah, everything's a two-foot takeoff. Even Starks is another two-foot takeoff. Oh, that's well. big. Again, he went to the bounce. He was able to make it to the second round, but couldn't beat out Cedric Sabalos and Larry Johnson for the final spot in the last round, and he was eventually eliminated. Next up, Nate the Great. At five foot nine, Nate Robinson entered the 2006 NBA Slam Dunk Contest, a huge underdog, and left out a favorite. Nate dazzled the crowd with self alley-oops and between the leg slams, but it was the alley-oop jump over former contest legend Spud Webb that would put Nate on the map. He would go on to defeat Andre Iguodala by one point to win the title and bring it back to New York. Or Nate Robinson, I think it's Nate. Oh, oh, oh see what I'm saying? See, that's a 44. Yeah, that's, that, he, he, no, that's, that's the a best. 40. 
After losing in 2007, Nate returned to Phoenix in 2009 to take back his crown and did not disappoint. Taking props to a new level. I don't I'd like to step up though. Spike's back. But no, I'm, uh, I, it would have been more dramatic was, if Spike Lee would have been out there. Would you take the risk of injury? <laughs> hey, we got... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's that? He's leaving. He's leaving the building. So I see he could go back. Nate returned to the locker room and came back as Kryptonite. As the final round was determined by the fans, Nate put on a show, including a dunk over the pre existing champion, Dwight Howard. Hold on, hold on. Look at the, look at the left hand. Use it, jumps up. That's over. It's not an avoid. Look, 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 he's off the. Nate would go on to earn 51% of the fan vote to win his second slam dunk championship. I agree with you on that. That was close. The first one. Dallas 2010. Nate returned to defend his crown. And while it wasn't as hyped as the last two championships, he did enough to get into the finals with a windmill Charles, and a I don't know about your guy, but... Uh, Wait from, a minute, I said I wanted to... I, I said... Uh, uh, from Chittlinburg, uh, uh, Hooterville... Uh, uh, I'm uh, telling you. Betty Joe, Bobby Joe, Billy Joe, uh, Uncle Joe. Good night. Good night, John Paul. <laughs> With the final round being determined by a fan vote, Nate threw a lob off the glass to himself, double pumped, and reverse jammed it to win 51% of the fan vote and beating DeMar DeRozan in the finals for his third slam dunk championship. He's got the flight. He's about to take uh, off. Well, He's getting off his landing. <laughs> to the floor or fly. That's, that, I, see, when you bring props out, that's how you bring props out. James White. Oh, wow. Now remember, he can, can. James Flight White. In the high school and college levels, the legend of Flight White was known by many. Coming into the 2013 dunk contest, the hype was real for Flight White, but he just couldn't stick a landing. Now he's on, he's on top. Okay, okay. No, that was, that was not 42. the free throw line. That was a little John Barry-ish. No, but he put it with two. But that, yeah, that was closer to the free throw line than I thought, though. That was closer to the free throw line than I thought. Mm. Man, that's two hands. Come on, man. It's pretty nice. The guy, pretty to nice, me, man. the guy coming up now is the sleeper in this contest. Flight was able to display a little bit of his leaping ability, but he couldn't get out of the first round, making his all-star slam dunk contest a dud. So all in all, the Knicks have had some good showings in the slam dunk contest, as well as a couple of flops. And as Dennis Smith Jr. becomes the ninth Nick to enter the contest, I like his chances of bringing the fifth title home. Heel by Smith Jr. ahead of the pack. Another dunk. Oh, 360 oh, oh, jam oh. for Dennis Smith Jr. Getting ready for the slam dunk competition. Sure enough is.